of a lot of money out of it. <laughs> by meaningless initials that have nothing to do with the game or anything else in the known universe. <laughs> and he created TSR. <laughs> and TSR looked at the game and said, we can make a hell of a lot of money out of it. <laughs> it's so confusing that every year we can bring out an entirely new system, which will make it even more confusing. <laughs> and pretty soon the consumer will be so confused that he'll buy anything in the desert world of just seeing the light. <laughs> A registered trademark of TSR
wisdom.
walking down the hall towards you. Is this person a head or a woman? A woman. Larry Elmore woman? <laughs> Ah, uh, 
Yeah, me too. Wait, wait, uh, you're not dead.
uh, those of you who are interested in buying paperback as opposed to hardbacks, uh, the paperbacks, the way the schedule is currently set up, the paperbacks are going to be released at the same time as the following hardback. So the paperback on uh, Devon, for example, will be out in the next couple months, along with the hardback in the second. The third book is finished. Yeah. Yeah, it's away. And we were going to work on the outline of the fourth book here, but we've had so much fun. And <laughs> <laughs> so we just haven't, haven't gotten around to it yet. We do have, we are running a seminar tomorrow well, morning at 8 o'clock. Well, okay, what, what is it? 
mic and walked into it and he immediately came out with Bang Lance, Bang Lance, I could beat his underpants. <laughs>
left again, and we can consider ourselves quite smarter. Uh, and uh, it's, it's all very, it's all very complicated. I'd like to love the Rosen Prophets here in the and, uh,
And uh, I was kind of playing around with trying different things. And then all of a sudden, Lord Saw sprang into being in my mind. And it was an incredibly powerful experience. He was so big, so bad. How bad was he? I, I, I instantly knew his entire history. I instantly knew where he had come from, how he had gotten this way. And I jumped up out of my cubicle over to our working time and I ran over to Margaret and said, Margaret, i got to tell you about this guy. He's incredible. Lord um, Soft actually has become so powerful in the course of the series that uh, we have to kind of keep an eye on it every day. Yeah, I think it's very so charismatic. He kept kind of wanting to take over the book. And uh, so we had to keep reminding him that he was only a minor character. And I know that. <laughs> but that's all right. Kids are currently taking him to right <laughs>
quickly the deadly spell was cast in that dread place will prevent anyone from winning his way through to the tower. Yanmar, where are you? Caution. Caution, fool. She betrayed her brother. She betrayed you. Not trust him. Clouds obscure the city of 
as I write this. The way it falls in sunlight. The streets hang between day and darkness. I've waited past all decision, past the heart and shadows to tell you this. In absences grew more beautiful, more poisonous. You're an adder of the orchids in the swimming night. Where passion, like a shark drawn down a bloodstream, murders four senses and leaves hate. Buckling into itself, binding the blood its own, it's all But as a shark unravels the body tatters in the long throat's tunnel, and knowing this, you might still see such a
have no choice. You are mine now. I don't want you no man. You are right. You belong to darkness. You're dead. You belong to Set aside the very light of candle torch and rocking wood, and listen to the turn of night caught in your rising blood. How quiet is the midnight love, how warm the winds where ravens fly, where all the changing moonlight love fades in your fading eyes. How loud your heart is calling love, how close the darkness at your breast, how hectic are the rivers love drawn through your dying wrist. And love, what heat your frail skin hides, as pure as salt, as sweet as death. And in the dark, the red moon rides, the foxfire of your breath.
like to be queen of darkness. <laughs>